Hello and welcome to this training session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today on the Maya Mudbox workflow. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is to check my Maya file to make sure it doesn't have any inside-sided faces or triangles. Uh, even though that the newest version of Mudbox can read the tries, you still want to make sure that this, these triangles or inside-sided faces doesn't come back when you render it within Maya with mental ray that might give us some issues uh, so we want to make sure t that we don't have any of these faces the fastest thing to do that is to right click on your object and go to faces and then go to the polygon section and under select select using constraints and open the option box here now if you go by default you'll see nothing is happening so you have to go to all and next and what do you want to look at either the triangles so let's go to the wireframe here really, really quickly. You can see there I have some triangles. Do I have inside it? I check none. And these are my quads. So this is how you can quickly look in your scene and make sure that it doesn't have any of these. I have my file that I already worked on and I made sure it doesn't have any inside it or tries. I'm just going to open it and I will show it to you. So here is my dinosaur head from the real world this, this dinosaur head should be around five or four to five feet long so I measured it here in the uh, Maya world about 120 centimeters that will be important when we come back to Maya to render it with Menta Ray uh, it will make our life much easier when we uh, use real measurements because uh, subsurface scattering will be taking into account the real measurements in, in, in the Maya world so again let's quickly double check our faces so select and using constraints we have to switch to faces and all in next let's go to wireframe and quads everything seems to be fine switching back to my object mode uh, one one thing also worth mentioning is if we look at the object in the UV texture. We want to make sure it's laid out correctly. There is no overlapping. If, if there was overlapping, that will give us some problems if we create when we, once we create the displacement map. So if I'm going to duplicate my object and scale it minus one on the X, so I have the other side. Now I can go to this UVs. What I'm doing is Control right click, just so things to shell. And now if I want to scale this to the other side and I still maintain this scale all I have to do now is just do it as much as I can and look in my script editor and you'll see the exact command I just did undo here so what I'm looking for is this command and I put minus one and that will give me the exact scale switching my object node so now if I can go to these two mesh surfaces and I say mesh combine both of them now are combined on one I can go to this UV shell move it up and this seems to be about right so all I'm going to do now is to combine, uh, sorry, to merge these edges in between the object, the two meshes, to make them in one. One thing, one way of doing that as well is you can go to vertices. You can do it from here. Select all these verts, and under the polygon section, I made a quick poly merge verts. I'm going to disable my border outline here for a second because I'm just looking at my verts, make sure they're co connected properly. I mean, right from here. And merge verts. If they're a little bit too long, you can make the distance is a little bit too long. Uh, so, sorry, too small. You can increase it. So, again, just connecting these guys here. 
control left mouse to uncheck and here we go so you do that for the rest until you have everything's ready to go now we're ready to go to modbox one last thing we're gonna do also delete all history and making sure I freeze transformation I created two layers here just this is the head and these are the eyes and we're gonna go to export selection and I want to go to OBJ and just leave everything as default and you export the head and one more time with the eyes so now we have our mud box open we're gonna go file import and grab the dinosaur head using the same hotkeys that we have in Maya holding down alt left mouse click you can orbit around middle pan and right to zoom in or out. All right, so let's save and we start. Now let's start working with our geometry. By default it goes the the mesh goes to the first layer and you can see here the name of the layer it go, takes the same name of the object. So if we pr if we named it properly it would probably came with this proper name but uh, we can rename it here this is just renaming the layer uh, we'll be talking about layers later on uh, also you can right click on the object and go to properties and it will open the properties window for you you can see what level are you sitting at and the face count also the face count can be viewed here at the bottom uh, let me move my screen up a little bit so you can see it and to subdivide or divide your mesh more you hit you can do it from here shift D and you'll see now we've jumped to a level one and we every face will be quadrupled so you can see that our numbers are increasing so if you go another one and maybe one more that should be enough for now if you want to go up and down in the uh, levels that you subdivided, it's page using the hotkeys page up and down. So I'm just going to jump down to my first level because I just want to go over the mesh one more time. Using hotkeys holding the B button down, it will change the size of the brush. The M button it will change the strength of the brush so let's do that one more time B for the size and you see the size is increasing and decreasing and the M for the strength working with Mudbox can be very easily using the hotkeys uh, for a full list of the hotkeys that's available for you you can go to Windows hotkeys uh, that it will take a while for me to load it here since we uh, the recording session Holding the uh, Alt and X will give you the symmetry on the X. Alt and Y, obviously on the Y, and Alt and Z, and you get, this, get the idea. If you don't want any symmetry, you just Alt O. Also, when you are brushing, you you can use the obviously the brushes that are available for you, Soft and Soft B and S Scratch, Smooth, and etc. Also, the hotkeys for that are one, two, three, four, five, and so forth till 9. While you brush, if you're using the regular brush here, just adding to it, if you hold the Alt, your orbit, sorry, control, you're using the inverse function as if you're doing this. So the control button and if you hold the shift, you're smoothing. Right. So if you see me jumping with uh, different brushes, you know I'm using the hotkeys. Alright, so let's bring the eyes here. A good thing here working with Mudbox, you can import objects and lock them so they will hold a the place. Uh, let's